Let's discuss Sicilian. I've been playing Sicilian all my life, for around 25 years since I was a kid. And there is definitely some small tricks you should be aware of, especially if you start playing Sicilian right now. So when we start with e4, c5, white continues with c3. That's what's called the Alapin variation. Whenever white plays c3, they would like to get their pawn to g4, maybe knight to f3, bishop to d3, and eventually get their queen to h5, maybe attack on h7, of course, if black key is castled by the attack. So after pawn to c3, the best response for black is to push c5 or knight f6 because both of those moves is going to challenge a pawn on e4. That's our main kind of goal here. Well, if black will continue with knight c6, that's not the best thing to do, but white will continue with d4. And again, white is control controlling e5, c5, and hoping to push d5. That's what I say for all the Sicilian positions. Whenever you start Sicilian, you should always try to avoid white pushing that pawn to d5, because if white does, then they get a lot of control over the center, and then white, black will have to lose all of tempos, move the knight back and so on. So let's say if in that position black would do something like knight f6, white will push d5, black knight has to move back, and black just lost two moves back and forth, knight c6, knight b8. So what black did, they took on d4 right now, which again is a great decision, and after cd4, they didn't make the best decision by playing g6 right now. Again, like white get a really nice center. They're ready to develop their pieces knight f3, knight c3, and then push like g5, e5, and so on. So what should black do? Definitely black should use their pawn and push to g5. This way they would challenge that pawn on g4 as well as this pawn on e4. Directly attack that pawn up here and block white from moving to d5. Uh, well, after g6, White continue with d5, and now that knight is actually a little bit trapped. The best move in that position is just to move knight to b8, which is very, very passive, but still would save the piece for black. Because what will happen for knight to a5, the best move for white will be queen to d4, where we attack that rook on a8, and let's say after the next move, like f6, we continue with b4, where the knight is completely trapped. It has no moves where it can move right now. if we go a little bit back, to this. If knight will decide to move to e5 right now, where again it seems like, you know, might be a good spot, actually after f4 this knight is completely out of moves. It can move to c6 because it's going to be captured by the pawn. c4, there is a knight, uh, there is a bishop, d3, there is a bishop here, there is another queen, knight and pawn, and g4 uh, queen takes g4. So every single move is losing the piece right now. So be aware, try not to allow them to push g5, and if it happens, still just escape back to b8 and save your piece.